Now, there was the inverted fate fight, uh, what is it? uh, Battle of the Ages. However, there's also an animated cutscene. This is basically a recreation of a scene from the comic right here, Broadcast of Madness. So, while we're waiting for everyone to join, I might as well play this. Wow! Skipping ahead, huh? He just can't wait to see the juicy secret. Well, newsflash. This takes place after battle, the Battle of the Ages fight that just came out. If you jump in here, you're probably going to be pretty confused. You could, you could also read the comic at invertedfate.com and save yourself a headache, but you do you. Just don't complain if the answers to your questions aren't right in front of you. Alright, so this does take place after the Battle of the Ages fight, so if you haven't seen it, you might be a little confused, but I'm going to do it anyways. By the way, this is a cutscene. You can still advance the text, but don't expect any fights here. The only reason this is a separate project is because that tournament got too big for its own good. Good afternoon, beauties and gentle beauties! Uh, oh, look at that. By the way, pay attention to the scrolling text down here, it's hilarious. Snowball spotted in Eastern Hotland. Local spiders, understandably distressed. Resident. Resident astigmatism seeks optimist, optometrist. Optometrist questions if they can even treat eye teeth. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton live with my brilliant creator, Undyne. That would be your cue to smile, Undyne. Ah, just get to the point. Unless there's another plot to humiliate, keep that up that attitude and you'll humiliate yourself. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I'll just play along. Sup, monsters? Are you pumped? I know I am. Well, that was a quick turnaround. I'm impressed. Anyway, we've had two awesome action pack three, actually. After all, I did record your skirmish in the lab. Okay, fine. We had three awesome shows back to back. And I know things look rough. I mean, the twerp did get the drop on us. But don't sweat it. These shows are just a test, an experiment. Of course I'm not going to go, go all out right away. But what do our viewers think of these, these recent events? Do they still root for the human's demise, or... Have these performances brought a fresh new perspective? Metaton, what are you getting at? Well, I figured it was time we heard from our wonderful viewers. So, let's give an explosive welcome to Monster Kid! He <laughs> trips in, of course. Uh, yo! I'm... Kid, and I'm totally pumped to be here. Good, you deserve it. So go ahead, get comfy, and tell us. How do you feel about all this? Take your time. Well, it's been totally fun, dude. Like, i never seen a human before. And watching one up close, that's crazy. And what do you think of them? I mean, Papyrus likes them, and they, uh, got cool moves. But, but uh, Undyne says they're dangerous, and she knows everything. Well, Undyne, do you have something to say? Just don't let your guard down. I know the kid might seem talented, they might seem friendly. But just because someone seems great doesn't mean they are. But come on, they haven't done anything bad. You have to remember, kid, if humans have done a ton of hurtful things. I mean, the queen even said to remember Kara. Well, given what we know now, I don't think anyone's gonna forget. Right. Look, I don't want to upset you. You're too young to deal with this. So just leave it to us. Don't think about them. We'll take care of it. So just take it easy and enjoy, and enjoy the show. Because I'm about to serve some sweet justice. <laughs> then I better hurry, or I'll miss out on all the good secrets. It's our seats. Not secrets. Well, that's one guest down. Many more to go, so hang tight, darlings. Yeah, the fire's just getting started. Speaking of fire, I'm sure you've noticed alterations to our local puzzles. Just take a look at the screen. These puzzles seem absurdly dangerous, not to mention deadly. Care to explain the situation, Undyne? Look, I know the puzzles seem scary, but I swear they're not gonna hurt you. They're all rigged with DT detectors. Basically, they target anyone with a higher determination threshold than mine. In other words, they only activate other round humans. And what about the doors? The block puzzles aren't even harmful, but they are inconvenient. So, isn't a small inconvenience better than letting a human run wild? After all, they got through Fort Aquarius, and that place was heavily guarded. And if I trained soldiers couldn't, and if trained soldiers couldn't hold back one kid, we can't take chances. This is for the safety of everyone. 
and Papyrus. He doesn't know any better. I don't know, you seem pretty aware of time for the next guest! Right, so, without further delay, I give you Sergeant Bassier Von Doge III of Aquarius Platoon! <sighs> Look on the bright side, Doge. At least you're getting friend requests for once. Well, that's a sewer face if I ever saw one. Well, can you blame her? She was just humiliated over the internet. Personally, I saw it as a harmless prank, but I digress. Tell me, Sergeant, how do you feel about your newfound popularity? Excuse me, electric cinder block. <laughs> Rare insults. But what time slot is this drab little school play airing in? Did she just call me drab? Ha! About time we had someone with good taste around here. <clears throat> anyway, we're airing it live. Then I'm afraid I can't voice my thoughts on this woeful situation. Lest my words pervert the innocence of any children watching. Well, if you need to let it out later, just let me know. And like someone here, I'll actually listen. Instead of using you as a vehicle for cheap, cheap drama. Moving on, you're one of the many who have faced the human in combat. What was your impression of them? To be perfectly honest, I didn't really notice. I was more or less blinded by my absolutely burning anger. At seeing a human traipsing in my compound undetained. They had an accomplice, but my point still stands. Honestly, the Royal Guard ought to kick up its recruiting program. The current batch of recruits I have is a bunch of it. Mm, they are a work in progress. Really? Are there no standout exceptions? That night night always seemed like a juggernaut. And we can't forget our beloved captain and lieutenant. Night night needs to up her medication. She's a mighty warrior. But her narcolepsy is starting to become a serious burden. The lieutenant is, well, again, we have children watching. And as for Alphys, she's too green if you ask me. She has a potential, but she, even a child can see that she has issues. Issues that maybe someone could help her with, Doctor. But hey! I spend tons of time with Alphys, like you are right now. Hey, I've been busy, and besides, Alphys is a great captain. She might not be tough, but she's smart, she's passionate. She pours her whole soul into everything she does. My Toriel's fluffy ears, you teen need to get it over with already. What? You know- Oh my! Could the fires of romance be burning before our eyes? Stay tuned for my exclusive report on Undyce- Don't you dare! But while we're on this subject, do you know what's become of her? Last I saw of her, she headed off to confront the human. But I haven't heard from her since. Perhaps it would be wise for someone to go looking for her. The human and their accomplice were not the violent sword, but... I saw her on the cameras, heading back to her house. She let them go, but she didn't look happy about it. Ah, that is heartening. I was, it was to be expected, in battle often leads to forfeit. Be glad that our opponent was merciful this time. I've been ruminating the inevitable aftermath of the human's capture. Uh, oh really? Well, care to share your thoughts? You see, when we breach the barrier, those on the outside may... No, I apologize. This is not the time for such thoughts. Automation? Uh, automaton? I trust you to make this sideshow an entertaining spectacle. I think your audience deserves as much. Rest assured, I plan to go out with a bang. Well, a hundred bangs. With a side of confetti, smoke machines, colored strobe lights, and we'll make it count. Yes, well, thank you for your time, Sergeant. I'd say you've earned a break before the next... Well, that's a surprise. But we look forward to hearing from you again. Then it's high time I change out of this ridiculous outfit. The next case attorney whole trial. It's far too breezy for my taste. How many more guests do we have to deal with? Just two. In fact, you might enjoy this next one. He's a living legend, the hero of the human and monster war. Ha <laughs> ha there's no need to flatter me, you know. Gerson! Gerson? Dude, don't be so dumb modest. You're totally, eh, I might have lived through hell, but I ain't not anything special. But enough about that. If you got questions for me, then fire away. Well, for starters, I'm curious how you feel about recent events. After all, you lived through the war. You've seen every human that's fallen into our kingdom. We have what many here lack, an informed perspective. Eh, right. Figured it was something like that. Look, I'd be lying if I said humans weren't dangerous. The books don't lie. Even a kid could kill us with enough hate. Saw that firsthand with the incident. LV's one hell of a drug. Exactly, which is why Undyne I ain't finished yet. Look, realistically speaking, there's no easy way out of this. Kid can't leave without Ken and Tori. We need their soul to leave. And if they stay, folks might start getting re restless. Uh, and reckless. 
Even if you didn't kill him, someone else might try and do the honors. There's always a risk. Nothing we can do about it. But I was never in favor of another war. You just get us killed. Especially since their tech's come a long way. <laughs> no wonder folks are losing hope left and right. And that's exactly why I have to do this. Monsters need a hero. They need someone they can count on. They need freedom at all costs. And she needs it, too. Arrow, face it. If I let them go, they'll still have to deal with Torio. And do you really think she wants us to go through that pain again? It's... Kid... It has to be this way. It's their fault, anyway. Nothing is going to change my mind. Nothing! I have to do this. I will do this, no matter the consequences. I've already come this far. It can't get worse than it already has. It can't! So I'll fix it. I'll fix everything. Everything is fine. Everything is... It's... Well, I've said all I could. Just hang in there. Ish. So... Let's just get this over with. Very well, Blukey. Look at my darling cousin. Uh, hi, Undyne. Oh, I guess you're not feeling good. Sorry. I just... Blukey, do you, uh, you defended the human before. In light of a recent events, have your feelings changed? Of course not. I, uh, honestly, I'm still worried sick. Don't get me wrong. Is that the same ghost sound effect that's used in, um, Guladay? For his speech? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, I get why most monsters might hate them. I know Undyne's trying hard too, but... Are you really happy? Good question. After all, this can't be easy for you. Your best friend now stands against you. And Alphys won't answer your calls or your texts. You bear so much responsibility, in fact. You're practically our leader now. Shut up! Mitsan, maybe you shouldn't. No, I don't care. He can do what he wants. Then you aren't mad that I don't care. I can't care. I just look. I'm not mad at you or Papyrus or anyone who. But you should have known better. You shouldn't have gotten so close. It's only gonna hurt you in the end, and I can't stop that. I won't stop that. I won't stop. It's too late to turn back. Everyone's hopes and dreams. That's all that matters. You don't sound happy at all. Cut the broadcast. Oh, but we haven't even... I said cut the broadcast. Well, looks like that's all for this episode, but stay tuned for... There goes the broadcast of madness. You sure you don't want to come with me? I... I can't. I just can't. Well, I can't make you. I just hope you don't un end up regretting this later. Loki is very cute.